I get your energy. Yeah. I used to be that girl on top of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see it. And when I hear your comedy, I'm just like, literally, everything I say is in your comedy. Your song, I didn't even know it was a song. And yeah. I had a show on a Friday night, and the DJ got, uh, you know, introduced me on stage with a different song that I always liked, like I got stuff. Yeah. The next day, I'm chilling with those kumba, we're having fun, we're mm -hmm. drinking, and we are performing that night. And then they play your song. I didn't even know it was a song. I just loved yeah. the vibe. But <laughs> some of them love a cool. I'm like, hey, yeah, you know it. <laughs> but the thunder thighs. And mm -hmm. the thunder thigh line is the one that killed me because I had to call my thighs thunder thighs. Thunder thigh, yeah. So I was like, damn, this mm -hmm. is the song. And I used it on that Saturday yeah. to get on stage. Like, it Crazy. was a vibe. For me, it's important. Yeah. As much as I'm a, I'm a comedian, I'm so musical. My, my dad had a band. So. Yeah. Um, music young pamper stage. So if it's a right song, it's just I know I'm gonna have a perfect set. Is it like what do you know? What do you know about business? My goodness. Any stories? I have so many stories. When I first came to Joburg, it was 2001. Ah, yes. And I, when I was and I stayed in Yeovil. So obviously I'm a weekend. Yeah, so true. Tando's were my place. Mm -hmm. Like Raga is my thing. Like mm -hmm. African music. So this has been Every Thursday, it's it's it it, it, it is a, a historical space for us artists, and you feel like that you can still feel the music here because mm -hmm. also Tandiso did a show here. I did. And, I and saw I was it. there. Yes. I was, I, oh, it was insane that show. It's crazy. It and mm. luckily for me, Brenda was still alive. Brenda Fassi. Ah, so you were so like. I, I got the chance to spend a weekend with Brenda Fassi. Because a friend of mine, yes. I don't know how they got to know it, La Petando Square, mm -hmm. at the salon, the next thing. Oh, Brenda Pell, somewhere. And then I hopped into the car, rang your ex, but I was there. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> <laughs> and, I and, and then Jaya, and I, I got to understand. Like, like a dog dog? Yeah, oh no, she, she was a superstar. Oh my God. She was like, oh, dog, we cheap, she was a match, she was a Okay, so like, if you don't like it, drink Kamalayo is Elida's iced tea. It's lovely. It's light and mm -hmm. lemony, and it, it represents success in a male-dominated industry, and it also celebrates the contribution that you've made in essay comedy. Thank you. So as you are the Zulu comedy queen, in fact, the queen of comedy in general. So shout out to the Take It Bluetooth app. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and literally after a very nice show, you just I like, like to go oh. back and have a better drink. Better drink. I feel like even you before this, I was just like, whoa. I love it. I, I didn't know what it was. I was like, hmm, this is nice though, whatever oh, it is. Well, it's the leader's iced tea based on I your personality. Leader's, leader's iced hey, tea hey, with my personality. <laughs> Yeah, let's get to it. I want to play a game with you, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to shuffle my card, and then when you're going to pick a card. Whatever it makes you feel, just let's go into it. Whoever brought you in here, this is you. Madness it's so perfect, right? Ah, it's so you. <laughs> and go, see. Okay. okay, now you ready? Let's go. So I, I choose whatever. Uh-huh. Yes, so, oh. th yes, tell me about the ish. Oh, yeah, I, I grew up on long drops. That's why I, I created my dream. Because I will do the long drop and my dad. In SA? Yeah. I'm, I was born in 1979. Oh. Yes, I, I was in the 90s. I was in the 90s. You're so fabulous. See, That's the thing. I'm 41. I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm not hiding my age. So. Why would you? People mm. who hide their age are people who are not proud of where they you know they think I mean? they're supposed to be at whatever age. So, so when the they hide, they are The long drops, uh, I've, I've been there with the newspapers. Is it? And I would choose uh, the apartheid leaders. I'm like, hey, hey, you. Yeah, what the, <laughs> what the face is it? <laughs> the the is former it? prime ministers of the apartheid like, government, I was like, yeah. my butt. That's why we don't have <laughs> Like, oh my God. The best thing about the long drop, I learned English because of the long drop. Because my dad used to subscribe to Reader's Digest. Mm -hmm. So the newspapers, all the old subscription of newspapers will be there because they are the toilet paper sometimes. Yeah. So when you pick up, you end up reading. And, and literally, my moment of knowing that I want to be an artist mm -hmm. was when I was reading the Reader's Digest and I saw Whoopi Goldberg. Mm. I had no understanding what I was seeing there, but I saw myself in her. Yeah. 
didn't make any sense at the time. But I remember that that was a time I wanted to learn. Because I wanted to well, what are they saying about her here? Because I, I, I didn't go to schools, you know, multiracial schools. Yeah. To the township schools. So, and, and in my house, just proper, raw, everyone was speaking Zulu. So the English language you could only learn from the cartoons or yeah. the newspapers. So all I'm saying is, don't be surprised when you see people coming from long drops to private jets. Oh, no, you cannot we be surprised. Learned, we learned a lot there. Let's choose another card. Yes. Ooh, I, 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 the map, the map, the <laughs> yes, so what does your card say? Who can't you relate to and why? Mm -hmm. People with no logic. People do not understand. I follow things. And my sister always tells me, they won't get it now. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's, a, there's a video that I did, in, and it's not even, I didn't do it. I was on set mm -hmm. and made a conversation with Bongani and it started up being a heated conversation about black men and men and relationships and men in general. What I said in 2016, 17 on that video, people were calling me about it in 2020. That's the so video that was out on Twitter, right? That was trending on oh social God. media. Because people, it was crazy, it was a good check. Exactly. As comedians, we will work on a set maybe for two, over two years or a year yeah. before you do it all. And okay. then you record it all. And then you send it to you. Unlike you where you work on the studio and then you record, like it's the same, but then with us, we, we don't have a studio. Shorter. Our studios are clubs. It, 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 it's in progress all the time. Yeah. Because you can only know the joke is, is working when you see it working. Comedy is that ruthless. The, you can't oh. clean it up. So you, you have to literally test it. You can't dress it and say, this joke, have you had people laugh at this or not? Actually, how does that feel? Like, if people, like have you had those experiences? No, I'm too good at it, Shem. Is it? I can't relate. I'm just way too good at it. Comedy, we are playing on the edge. So whenever I talk, sometimes I must understand that I can only talk to people as far as they've met themselves. Yeah. What I perform here, I can have three shows in one night. Different? Different shows in, in one night. So then with the material that you have, it's, it's like with the I delivery. The there are people that I read the room. There are people like, just like these mm. people don't have time for political jokes, just throw them with sex jokes. They don't have time. Yeah. Because understand, there's no music, there's no rhythm to move into. It's a storytelling. So you listen. You listen. If it, whatever ounce of listening you still have, I must use that. I cannot draw you to things. I need to do mm -hmm. that, but it, it's, a, it's a different thing. There's a rhythm to it, there's a technique to it. Yeah. But the whole thing is read the room. Comedians that fail is because they fail to read the room. Uh. Read the room. Which is why it goes back to understand Even the next person. It's not um, about you. Your spaces. I can't, I can't come and say, yeah, space. I wrote this joke. They must laugh at it. No. It's my, yeah, it's These like a teacher who plays like the, the stuff they play at home, but not reading the, the we're not dancing, Finish, dude. done. OK. Oh. It's, it, it makes, it, it, I, I think of a zoo and taking mm -hmm. kids and, cause this is always people with kids and stuff, so. What happened with that whole thing when you, remember when you were taking uh, an artist who was, who did something provocative on, I, I mean, on, on, at, at the beach? Objective thinking is no longer popular. Ne? It's either Or you're a life. hater. The life doesn't go like that. And, and I'm not into people's my business. Yeah. It's not like I was bored. But what I was checking is that there is a thin line in everything. There's a thin line in owning your body mm -hmm. and being reckless in, in, in influencing people who are not grown enough to understand your concept or your brand. There is no way that you, you cannot know where you are okay. in public. Like for instance, then, like TV shows where I know I wear a thong in the club. Yeah. And then on, you can't on a TV show, house, I wear Leotard. You can't walk up to thong. That's what I'm saying. Like, let's not be ridiculous. OK, and, but I think there's a difference now. Because uh, when you say you can't, that's got nothing to do with what your family no, no, accepts no, no. of you or not. No. But I do understand the part where but I do understand, I, I understand your first point, but your second point I don't, because when okay. your family understands you, that's got nothing to do with forcing children to be made to understand things they don't have to understand right At now, right? Yes. That's not, the that's all, one that's saying, one I don't agree with. 
there's always a place for everything. Like you will be said, if you are getting married and I rock up at your wedding with a swimming costume. I won't be sad, depending well, on, I guess that's I'm communication old though. I guess I'm old school. I think then maybe you got misunderstood because even though you were saying the sense, you included things that had nothing to do with that when it okay. got to choice. I will take that, but this is what I'm saying. When we fix things, we can't fix things. Yes, there's been oppression on body shaming, on oh, not owning your body, but we still need to be within humanity way of dealing with things. I'm a big girl. I don't like to be body shamed, but if a doctor says you're going to die because of diabetes, that's not body shaming. No, Go it's and a exercise. reality and taking care exactly. of your health. And so, health has got nothing to do with this size. Exactly. Yes. So I'm saying, even with that, mm -hmm. understand the environment that you are in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I'm, it's not about that I'm scared of you or you are now con like pro uh, putting <laughs> borders, whatever. It's about, I see you as a human being. I think. Logically, logically, are, logically, yes. when you are getting married, when there's a funeral, there's a certain way of rocking up because it's not about you now. I think I also, because we're living in a, a me, 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 me generation, we forget the communal way of living. Mm -hmm. It's never about you all the time. True. It can never be about you all the time. True. So sometimes it's not about you being infringed to express whatever you, do you think these hundred people didn't want to express themselves? No, we are here now because then, when are we drawing the line and where? Who needs to draw? Why does there be? Why because must there be a line? And like you know, I can hear that you're talking about the spaces, especially with that incident where someone took off panties at the beach. Yeah, that one I agree with you fully. That's all I'm saying. But now. then you keep veering off to other things where people actually have choices with this, and it's got nothing to do with the environment because uh, all I'm saying is, you automatically have you know what you're dressing because of the what theme, is the dress theme. Sense. Yes, absolutely. So now why are we discussing this? This you is know? my point. Because you make people go crazy. <laughs> you know what is what, uh -huh. guys. That's why they sell that thing there. They don't sell a suit next to the costume. If you are a human being living in this earth with other human beings, it's a human thing to understand that you don't operate on your thing alone all the time. Sometimes I need you. That's why people fail to be in relationships. Because you can't be starring everywhere. Oh, there, are, okay. there, are moments be, where, yeah. there are moments where when, when you're me, when, you're, when your parents died or when whoever you, you're going through something, I can't rock up when my, I'm a rock star wherever I go. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Who must tell you now? Yeah. Behave. Right. So that's what I was saying. I know, I and agree I with you. And I take my just... without limitations I need, this, I need this dream <laughs> to hit you hard so that it's just like, uh, I'm Twitter right now in your face. One, yeah. you choose three, and I'll tell you what happens after that. Right. And choose. then okay. I'll tell you what Another happens one. after that. And the third one. I how you did it. Okay. Jeez, I'm trying to think. <laughs> so from the three cards, right? Yeah. Which one do you not want to do that's too deep for you? I'm gonna choose, because I don't know what I've never told anyone. <laughs> okay, great. We'll take this one. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, cool, so that is the card. <laughs> I've never told anyone. What have I never told anyone? You are so tricky. <laughs> Damn, because I'm trying to think what is it I've never told anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, What's the wildest time you've have had overseas? Oh, and you, you, you I, didn't I tell once, anyone I once about the that guy one. in France, and we had a great time, but I didn't know what he was saying. It just sounded... I was pointing <laughs> things like, I want that beer, and it was my pleasure, man. Right? It's like, you <laughs> no, I'm joking. He was buying drinks, so like, like, can I buy you a drink? Yes. I, and, and no language. I, I mean, I, I that's a change. love language, the, the, French the, kiss. The, <laughs> the body language was talking a lot. Like, mm, yes, enough. Yes. That's enough. Like, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell anyone about that? I think I've never told so many people because my family knows like, like, no. It's have you ever done social, um, no, um, more like Tinder? Tinder. I, overseas, I did overseas. Tinder overseas. And I was How like, is that? Yeah, it was, well, I never met anyone then, but the, the, the guys were so nice. <laughs> I was like, mm, mm, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Mm. I've yeah. never done but Tinder I won't lie, when I'm going over some much more, like, like yes. yeah, because of who we are, like, we can't express, it's, it's you tough need to, to meet go, people. I mean, you know, when you've been scammed, and for me, I, I, I love the most difficult people to love, black men. Oh, so, yeah, And they are the most difficult people to love. Well, maybe not, I, I think men in general.
because like, in general, yeah, I feel yeah. like penis there's, like, there's like also a, a very wrong thing that we're doing as a society. We always think when we talk about bad men, it's always black men, mm -mm. even white men. That's why I bad. say penis holders are it's a problem a because there's, it's like an achievement first, and you should be worshipped before you have done anything. It's it's the history where we come from of of that patriarchy situation, but also I feel like subconsciously I will talk for someone who straight women we want the love we 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 were brought up to be told and for me I we grew up, need it. my we mom up and my we dad it. were in the house I know that balance I know that duality and it's what I was dreaming for myself it's what I want for myself but we are not living in a society where they are not built the same anymore. Like, I mean, do you think it's got anything to do with the fact that now we've got exes and we DM each other and when they cheated, our mothers would take them back? Our That's why we find oppressed. brothers everywhere. Our mothers were oppressed in so So then many don't ways, you so. think that the reason it stayed, if they've been together for these many years is because they took the bullshit that came with that? Because we have a voice, that's why we're not tolerating a lot of the rubbish that was tolerated in those oppressed times. And yeah. with the mothers that were able to empower us and say, you know what, you don't need it. My mom got divorced at three months. Right. I had to learn to like men myself because I didn't respect them. I chose that outside because I knew my upbringing. I never need a man. You see, man. the other thing is, for me, my dad was a dad. Was he was a good man. Dad. Yes. Very strict, but all I have and all I am, I will say, most of the nice teachings and the valuable teachings were from him. He, did, he had mm -hmm. eight kids with one man, one woman mm -hmm. and stood by it. They, they separated it. And the that's end. a good but, thing. But I, I get to understand because I think we... we we are not in, we don't have an umbrella or a blanketed problems. Your yeah. problems are not necessarily mine. So the wanting this love is not coming from because my mom was, you know, was tolerating it. No, you still want no. the love, whatever I've it under, is that I was under. The love yeah. they shared. Like they had, like I'm telling you, my mom was a dancer. How she met my dad, mm -hmm. my dad used to play a band with my aunt. So they have another rhythm of love. When you talk yeah. about how they caught each other, how they did things, there's something that we're doing now as we fight for ourselves. We also undermine the power and importance of black love, which is what I'm dreaming of. I, I love our history and I love where we come from. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm a Pan-Africanist at heart, you know, and I know so many things that are wrong, but I still hope to see us in a good light yeah. because we don't we don't highlight those things and i think that's where the frustrations come from definitely we need to talk about and sort the patriarchal issue but there's no way that in the same breath because someone said to me you can't be praying for a man that you don't believe is there out there i i, I feel like we are also losing you know when when things go into the extreme the extreme happens so also we can't go to one side and not check the other because what about, that's why I meet so many men that are like, most black men can't date black women because really it has always been about money. But if you understand it on a bigger scheme of things, we all come from disadvantaged spaces in terms of structural and systematic whatever things that happened. So now if, if, if black men feel like there's nothing I can do now, we are, not that I'm talking on their behalf, I know I'm gonna sound like a devil's advocate right now, but all I'm saying is at the end of the day, I, I still need one, uh, some still want babies. Some, some still, and, and it's, and it's a, a hard one. This not days necessarily, to you can buy. No, say. well, there's a thing that you want, you know? Some people say, now we can have a machine that is going to be pregnant and you check it, what if load shedding happens? I just feel, feel, like, because <laughs> I feel like because there's freedom now, we don't have to do the things and tolerate things you don't want to tolerate. Yeah, yeah, anymore, definitely, I'm with you there. The I'm with you there. I'm 100% with you there. That's you know, why I'm single, because I don't tolerate. But mm. all I'm saying is, I'm still, still looking like like for the want. next love because that's what I want and that's what will fulfill me. And I feel like we're living in a society of women who are now scared to say that. No, I've got children. It's just I know now I need the right. <laughs> you see, because you have them. I have Imagine them. if someone... Like you're still wanting you know what I mean? your children. Exactly. Oh, you I want children, that. you want daddies, you want... <laughs> All I'm saying is, if we say everyone must be represented and everyone, not everyone. must experience love... No. It, yeah, as a human being. That's what we're fighting being, yes. for in this generation. Everyone must experience love, everyone must be represented, everyone must have fairness, including black men, as much as they... But including them. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, to to black love. <laughs> black love. Hopefully, Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Celeste. <laughs>